we are in New York City to check out what Saks Fifth Avenue has in store for us. I'm so glad you are here because this is going to be one very special shopping trip. Again, here in New York City, um, the first time I have been here in quite a few years now and this is probably the store that I'm most excited about because behind me just here is Saks Fifth Avenue and I have never been in Saks Fifth Avenue so I'm super excited. We're going to be checking out what the luxury brands have in store for us and I'm just really interested to see like what the vibe of Saks is. If you are new here my name is Steph and if you missed my last video we went to Nordstrom Rack which is where kind of some of the designer discounted stuff is and then we headed to Macy's and I fell in love with a bag at Louis Vuitton which if you are a subscriber might not be a surprise because I do love this style of bag um, but yes I wasn't expecting to fall in love with another one so quickly and it was so beautiful so if you haven't seen that video I will link it down below make sure you watch it after this one but for now let's head into Saks Fifth Avenue again I'm not looking for anything in particular right now mostly just looking for some inspiration on what the brands have in stock for us now make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video because I'll be sharing with you any pieces that have surprised me and stolen my heart so before we do actually head to Saks, in the morning we got up really early thanks to jet lag and we went on a walk to Central Park and we did a little bit of window shopping. So I want to show you what I also found. Um, this Louis Vuitton store just down the road from Central Park was so beautiful. Let's have a little window shop. I have to go on for in navy. And in the window over here, the Orsay bag in white with gold hardware. I will say when I tried this on, I found it quite heavy, but I thought the quality in person was a lot better than what it looks like online. We have some really beautiful autumn, winter or fall outfit ideas here. I like this little like trunk thing, although I wouldn't buy it myself. It does look very small and impractical. We have the key pool in epi red leather. This is like menswear here, um, but I do feel like, especially this like extra small key pool, definitely like a unisex piece. I love this jacket. We have a rucksack and also a leather rucksack with the LV on the front. Okay, so that is it for Louis Vuitton windows. Now we are going to head to Central Park and we are having breakfast here in Central Park. What a treat. There are these tiny little birds everywhere. Here is the menu. I will mention the details of this place down below and look at the view. It was so peaceful, so many dogs and the hot chocolate was the most incredible drink. Look at this pouring chocolate to go in the drink and so many dogs in Central Park. If you're a dog lover, you definitely need to head here. We have some Del Vaux here on Fifth Avenue. Let's take a look. This looks like a really beautiful store. It's not open yet. Have this like little, kind of like camera bag, but top handle. Um, in this window. Oh, I like this with the like smooth leather. Look how beautiful the store is inside as well. This which is sometimes compared to the mini Kelly bag and one with grained leather. See that grain? Nice tote bag in caramel and check these out guys. Very chic selection here in black and white with some writing on this. Probably my favorite. Oh, and this one has like a little lock charm. We have a dark green here. 
with gold hardware, a beige and another green. We have some blacks and pinks as well on display. And some very fun colours here. It's yellow. This looks like the Hermes kind of Constance style bag, that saddle shape. Some little uh, SLGs here in lots of different colours. Very fun. And then we have it in pink, yellow and some light pink as well. I think this pink here is my favourite. And to show you the Dior store here on 5th Avenue, I'm not sure what this is, like a flower person, like over the edges of the building. And this um, is right near, so this is the Apple store, and Central Park is right over here. It's very cool. But yeah, let's take a quick look in Dior's windows. The store is closed now, it's still a bit early. This looks like an incredible store though see some amazing pieces oh wow i love this outfit like the oversized jacket oh this is like a saddle kind of like messenger bag in yellow i think that's like men's wear can we see all of the beautiful bags in here and some more outfits we have the dior toujours tote bag in the window and this is the one where you can extend the straps and that's in the black leather i love this outfit as well with the skirt the boots the top and the overcoat don't the colors just look stunning together what a beautiful beautiful store and further up fifth avenue near central park we have bergdorf goodman here so i haven't got time because we're only here for a day but next time in New York, let me know if you would like me to do more vlogs here because there's so many incredible department stores and just stores in general. Oh, we have Van Cleef as well and Apples over there to film that we just could not fit them all in. This is very fun. Here to see more of the hug bag which is here in the window. Do we like the new Ferragamo hood bag? Quite like it. It's very open though. I don't think we have um, a closure. They so just have like a zip compartment on the back. So you would have to be aware of that. Got one in like a mock croc. And here's a red one. Quite cool. Can we talk about? You can see behind me just here. There's so many counterfeit bags in New York. Now, when I last came to New York, it was it was pre-pandemic, so it was quite a long time ago now, like a few years. But walking up Fifth Avenue, honestly, like every single block has like sellers where they've got like fake designer bags out on the floor and it's just pretty shocking um you don't really see that in the uk um i kind of associate stuff like that with certain countries that are very well known for selling uh, fakes such as uh, turkey for example i really wasn't expecting to see it on fifth avenue here in new york to the extent that we are seeing it there's also an event on here in new york today on fifth avenue you might be able to see behind me we have like police officers everywhere and there are still quite a few people on just the sidewalk selling counterfeit luxury goods, which, yeah, I mean, we've even got, let me just, we even have just here, like someone selling like fake sunglasses. I just find this absolutely mind blowing. Can you see that? It'll be like all fake Chanel Prada here in New York. Is this, if you live in New York or if you visit regularly, is this, something that has happened recently or has this been happening for quite a long time now like I said it's been quite a few years since I've been here in New York but yeah pretty shocked I'm amazed actually the brands and the police are doing a little bit more about it and here we are Saks Fifth Avenue let's have a quick look in the windows we have some quite bright prints here 
quite warm today in New York, which is nice. Lots of neutrals, just playing with like different shapes and drapes and with the fabrics. Okay, love this. Let's head in. And Gucci over here. Friends and family. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow. Look at here, it's like holographic, like all the escalators. This is so cool. We have Bottega, we have Chanel, we have Saint Laurent, we have Louis Vuitton, we have Balenciaga, slightly controversial, uh, Gucci, Burberry, Dior, Celine over here. Oh wow, this is just heaven, isn't it? And everything's so close together. Wow, McQueen, look at this up here, like holographic. So cool. Love McQueen right now. Oh my gosh, they have the mini hobo in like black and silver crystals. And they have it in this gorgeous purple. Never seen this color before. Oh my gosh, and even denim. This bag's growing on me. This is really, really cool though. Quite a lot of Monia here. Mugnard is actually owned by the Dior Fashion House, in case you didn't know. I like these wicker bags, I'm not sure the name. These are cute. And then over here we have, I think they do like customization on the canvas. These are lovely, aren't they? Like the top handles. I like this one. And they have it in brown as well. And like a taupe color. Lovely. Celine guys. What do we have? We have some other teen tree off. We have the 16. Let's see if they have like the mini 16 in. Okay. Let's head in and see what we can find. A quick stop at Bulgari to try on some of these Serpenti Viper jewellery pieces as well. This is the Viper ring in all yellow gold. Here is the bracelet version in rose gold with diamonds on the head. And I've been debating these two, the solid yellow gold and the rose gold with the diamond head. Please do let me know what you think in the comments. I really do love them both. I've got Loewe Bay here. We have the new fold tote bag and the puzzle bag. Is this the new, I think this is the new Puzzle Edge bag. It's nice and like the orangey mustardy colour. That's some little SLGs. Bone pouch. Caramel. Oh, we saw one of these the other day actually in um, one of the pre-love stores. But it was in a different colourway. I thought these were really nice like a caramel and the flamenco bag in like a blue leather oh how cool is this in like a tinselly like a silver that's really cool i like these like hammock bags and the flamenco again Lauro piana i don't know the names of these bags but these are nice we have one in croc Lovely. Obviously very famous for the very comfy shoes. But also the bags. Very quiet luxury, isn't it? Lauro Piano. Oh. Lovely. Oh. This kind of reminds me of Longchamp, I think, with the like closure. Look at this little mini one. That's adorable. We even have some the row bags. Again, very silent luxury by the Olsen twins. It's really simple like camera bag, it's cute. And these leather options. Really nice from the row. What is this? Double points, friends and family at Saks First Club. We've got some Tom Ford over here. I'm loving this. We've got Dior, try and head in there in a second and some Tom Ford over here. They've kind of put all the like quiet luxury pieces and like brands together with like the row. 
I'm just still loving all this like colour in the background. How brilliant. I like this with the zip on. Got some zebra print. Cute. Gucci, we have the horse bit here again, not sure about this one. And we have some loafers, we have the Gucci Jackie. Oh, we have like oversized Jackie bags as well, and like saddle. I do love these loafers though, we first checked them out in Harrods and they have like the crystals on. Really cool, over here we've got some bright, like we've got a bright pink Diana and the Python check out this kind of hobo shoulder marmont bag it is huge i think this rivals the saint laurent icar tote bag this dionysus bag like the detail on the class with all these like green gems beautiful and a version of the ferragamo hug kind of style bag personally i think it's so big and bulky i think the wanda here in the crystals is a much better like crossbody bag much more my personal style and I'm always here for a crystal moment. Look at this. And then round here we have, wow, this is like bag heaven. Some outfits. These are like, I guess, trends, leather, the return of the skirt and lots of bags in here. So yes, let's take a look. We have some long charm. Or oh, they have the mini Lee Pillage, I believe that is, bag. Tempted with that. And then like the full leather. Oh, I've got this one, but I've got it with the yellow horse on the front. Um, and I love it. I've actually brought it with me for Miami later on in a few days time. And hopefully I'll be vlogging there. So you might see the appearance of this one. Not sure about the net bags. I quite like these. These are quite cute. Okay. So we've got 25% off friends and family on certain items. And guys, look what I've just found, this Demelia Tokyo bag, which is the bag that I've been debating getting next from Demelia, because I absolutely love it. And it is, this light is not doing it justice. It's like a bright green. Oh my gosh. I've seen this on the website and it's now, I don't think you can get this anymore in this green color with the gold. This is so cute. And again, the 25% off, let's give it a try. What do we think? Again, the colour isn't coming out very well on camera, but it's so, so cute. I love this as like a little shoulder bag instead of like a Prada, for example. And it's $465, but with the 25% off, I believe. It's about $300. $300. They've also got quite a lot of MCM, and we've got Strathbury. It's lovely. Oh my gosh, guys, they have the new uh, Danelia Vancouver bag. I have this bag already. I have black and taupe, but this is like the new small size. It's like a mini, and this is in like a grained leather, so it's not going to scratch easily, unlike maybe the smooth one. Well, they're saying that's pretty hard wearing. This is so cute. Now, this strap is adjustable, and I definitely need it adjusting to go cross body. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love it. I am definitely going to have to get one of these mini Vancouver bags and you can probably see my phone here. Okay, this will still fit a phone inside. They've got quite a few of the Strathbury. This is nice. For like an aubergine croc. Oh, and this like little clutch bag. It's nice. And the chestnut colour. They've got quite a lot of off-white and some sparkles, some little crystals from Stella McCartney. A bit more Strathbury here. Again, I believe all of these are like 25% off. Some Alaya. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's in like a yellowy lime. 
I love this. It's adorable and I've got pink as well. It's a really nice like shade of pink and like laser cut out and then black in different sizes. Some Chloe and I have instantly been drawn. This is nice, the Marcy bag, but look at this little fluffy cloud. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. How adorable is that? Some more of the Marcy. Oh, and we've got like a full leather one there as well. But this is just adorable for like autumn, winter. Some of the new styles of bags. I'm not actually sure the name of these. like braided handles oh my gosh look at these sparkles from Versace Saint Laurent we have some like fluffy bags that is the orange fluffy one and lots of the classics which we see in a lot of vlogs so how cool is this in orange Suede, green suede, some more fluffies. Mm, nice, ready for autumn winter. The Reeve Gauche tote here in like a raffia. I love this for summer and it has leather around the edges with the detail. And we've also got this one here, like a black net and it's kind of got a black leather like a patent leather around it I feel like this looks slightly cheap but kind of cool at the same time Chanel it's closed I'm not sure why everything seems to be closing quite early we have the fluffy jumper the belt and some of the bags cute and what do we have in the window over here some tweed I like this necklace with the silver Chanel and the like choker I can see some pink as well in the background. Louis, what have we got in the window? Oh, we have like the little trunk bag in monogram. This is cute. We have the twist lock over here. We have some of the malotage, the Orsay bag. And over here we have some of the ready to wear. Okay, let's have a quick look and head in. Avenue. I don't say this lightly. It might just be my favourite place on earth that I have seen so far. Place to shop luxury bags. The range that they had from the super high end to the more affordable luxury. Even seeing like Demelia there. Absolutely incredible. Very, very impressed. And the bag that stole the show for me today is a very easy, can you guess? It stole the show very easily. And um, this is what happened in Macy's, the same bag. It was the Capucine bag from Louis Vuitton in the holographic croc. What an incredible piece. Um, I believe it retails at, I think he said about $47,000. So quite the investment, um, but so, so special. And I'm still thinking about the apricot Capucine mini with the iridescent hardware. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. So we went to Nordstrom Rack for some discounted designer to see what that was all about, because I've never been before. And then we went to Macy's and I fell in love with another Capucine bag. Please do let me know in the comments what you have liked the look of and don't go anywhere because coming up next, I'll link my latest video release here for you and over here. We are going luxury shopping at Macy's and Nordstrom Rack here in New York City. Let's go. <laughs> 